So now in this video, we're going to make a uh, voltage ramp with this circuit. So right in there, we have the ramp going. And uh, I'll try to uh, pause it. When it's done, we're only working with 5 volts here. And um, so we have our ramp there. We're using a couple of uh, PNP bipolar junction transistors wired as a current mirror. So we got this one wired to deliver about 1 milliamp of current. But since it's tied together with uh, that uh, PNP bipolar junction transistor, they're both 2N3906 by the way, um, it will also deliver 1 milliamp of current, charging a 1000 microfarad uh, capacitor when we aren't uh, discharging it. And uh, so 1 milliamp charging a 1000 microfarad capacitor, you expect its voltage to rise one volt a second. So we got one, two, three, four, five seconds right there. And then a one, two, three, four, five volts right there. Did a really good job. And now we will zoom in on the uh, schematic that I got. So we're looking at the uh, capacitor there. First off, we uh, discharge it with the switch closed. You can see that puts ground on both sides. There's a negative side of the uh, capacitor. It's a 1000 microfarad capacitor. I bent it this way so it's easier to see. And a positive side going up there. It's parallel to a switch. We'll look at that uh, later. That uh, discharges it. And then the current, when you open the switch, uh, the current starts charging the capacitor up. A steady current will give it a steady voltage rise. That's how we got that there. Um, and then when the switch is closed, any current coming through there, we'll just go to ground. The capacitor will be discharged until we open it. Then it'll be diverted into the capacitor. This is just a voltage we would want to measure. It's not to power anything. Um, but you can have other circuitry respond to it. Hopefully that makes sense. So these are two uh, PNP bipolar junction transistors are wired as a current mirror. This one sets the current. So they both have their emitter um, to the positive supply because they're PNP. And then they have their uh, bases uh, tied together right there. So ultimately that'll get us, uh, we got five volts. You drop about 0.6 volts for 4.4 volts at that point. And then that will be the voltage set across these uh, resistors ultimately. And uh, so 4,400 ohms. And uh, as I said before, 4.4 volts divided by 4,400 ohms is one milliamp of current. And uh, luckily, um, when you wire them up this way, you could do more transistors too. I don't know how many before, because uh, each transistor does need a little current going through it. So it might throw it off. Um, so I'm not sure how many you can do, but you can add more. Um, and uh, their base is not tied to their collector. So ultimately, it just uh, magically as far as I can explain it, transfers. How much current is gonna flow through here to the same current that you see right there. And uh, so what's the use of a steady voltage rise? Um, so a 1000 microfarad uh, capacitor, it, you know that it goes up one volt for, uh, you know, if you have a milliamp of current going into it, let's start there. Then every second, it will go up one volt right there. So you can adjust the uh, capacitance or the amount of current to change the exact timing. Um, but uh, we're going to keep the math simple in here. One milliamp into a 1000 microfarad capacitor, which is basically a millifarad right there, uh, it gets you a volt rise. So one amp with a one farad super capacitor, same thing, although that's uh, trickier currents to work with. Um, so in any case, one volt per second. So here we could uh, basically time something. Let's say maybe an LED turned on for two seconds, uh, but we mirrored that timing to uh, this uh, mirror uh, circuit here. Then the capacitor would be two volts. You would know that that LED was on for like two seconds. You know, just a simple example right there. And uh, so, yeah, we'll zoom back right there. And uh, yeah, you can see the uh, capacitor, negative side, it's polarized. You got to charge it the right way. Negative supply. And then uh, up here, top of the switch. When you close the switch, all four pins connect. So top two are always connected, bottom two are always connected. But then when you press it, all four of them become connected. So that makes a connection to ground right there. We have the PNP bipolar junction transistor. Flat side is to the left. So top pin is the emitter, middle pin is the base, and uh, the bottom pin right there is the collector. Same for this one. The uh, emitters and bases are tied together right there. But this is the only one that has the base tied to its uh, collector. That's the one that sets the current. So 3,900 ohm resistor and uh, 510 ohm resistor right there. So 
if we uh, separated this and measured the current with the multimeter, we would see one milliamp of current. And if we bridged uh, the gap there with the multimeter, we'd see one milliamp of current. I've done that in other videos. Uh, not going to do it in this one, hopefully. Uh, people don't seem to stick around to watch the uh, multimeter uh, measurements. So not going to spend time doing it in this video. We're going to keep this short. And uh, so in any case, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.